Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm gonna do the long-term review of my Revit Dirt 3 gloves. So, if you're interested, don't go anywhere. Now, in the beginning I just want to say this video is not sponsored. These are my gloves, which I bought for my own money. And uh, this review is my personal and honest opinion about these gloves. So, let's start it. These are Revit Dirt 3 gloves, which I bought three years ago. I made a video about it. Uh, if you didn't see it, I'm gonna put a link uh, somewhere there. Three years. I've used them for three years or three motorcycle seasons. And the motorcycle seasons in, uh, in the Netherlands are about nine months each year. So, so the season begins uh, early March and I'm riding mostly till late November. So it's nine months riding. I did use those gloves a lot. I was using them in the temperatures of five degrees Celsius till 35 degrees Celsius. In those temperatures they, they, they quite good. But when you're riding on, uh, and there is five degrees outside, it can happen that your fingers are gonna get cold. But if you have uh, heated grips, that helped. And then you can ride in five degrees Celsius with uh, summer gloves. So why the review now? As I just said, I used them for three motorcycle season and uh, a week ago, this happened. Yeah, there is a little bit of damage as well here on this finger. The right side, the right side is actually better. Yeah, maybe because I'm uh, using the clutch much often than uh, than the than the brake, so the left uh, glove is worn much more than the right. But if I want to say about the condition now, yeah, they not very bad yet, except for this hole. Theoretically, if, if I don't have this hole in, in, in here, in this finger, I would still use them. After three years, they still very flexible. I didn't do anything with them. I didn't use any uh, leather creams or anything. I just, I just rode with them. I rode with them a few times in the rain, so they were soaking wet. But yeah, I just tried them out and uh, next day I was riding with them again. They lost a little bit. Uh, color of course, but I'm gonna explain you this in a moment. Quite good gloves, I'm very happy with them because they very well ventilated. There is all this mesh which gives you a lot of ventilation and, and in the summer that's quite important. They're very light and they're very thin so your fingers are working perfectly. I have perfect feeling what I'm doing when I'm pushing my clutch or, or brake. I can feel everything on my with my fingers. I have another pair of uh, gloves, which are Gore-Tex gloves, and they are waterproof. These ones are not. And they're good as well, but they're much thicker. So I don't have that much feeling uh, than these gloves, because they're thicker and your fingers are... It feels a little bit numb. But yeah, that's the uh, thing with the uh, thick gloves. If you want them waterproof, they are thicker and yeah, of course, m less filling. So I like these ones very much because uh, they're very comfortable. The only problem that I have with those gloves, as you can see on the fingers, this mesh is very fluffy and it happens two, three days after I start using them. So that's quite, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a big problem, but I found it a bit annoying. Especially that on this finger in the ear, there is a black mesh. And the black mesh it didn't get so fluffy as the gray mesh. So my solution for this problem was, I just used a lighter and I did this. And as you can see, all the fluffiness is gone. So you just have to do that one, once in a month or something like that. Depends how intensive uh, you use your gloves. Just yeah, like that. Don't uh, burn them down, of course. 
they're not flav anymore or less. Of course, the flav is coming out uh, uh, when you're using. That's the only problem that I have with these gloves. The rest, it's, it's, yeah, it's, these are the perfect gloves actually for me. Because of this hole in the, in the finger, I decided that I'm not going to use them anymore. So I need the new gloves. But because I'm very happy with them and they very good quality, so I decided I'm going to buy exactly the same model again. So Revit Dirt 3. But this time I order it directly from Revit. And uh, speaking about the quality, I just uh, want to show you. This is the original packaging from Revit. It's a box with a nice uh, Revit logo here and here. And you can see the box is even nicer inside. Got all those nice drawings. Inside the box there is this, which is your bill and some stickers from Rabbit and the return label. So if you don't like it, you can return in this box, just stick it the sticker on and uh, send it back. So that's quite nice. That's quality. And of course we have the gloves here. So they brand new, I didn't open them yet. So we have a bag for uh, the gloves of course. We have some uh, warranty and other stuff. And of course uh, we have the moist uh, thing, which is getting moist from the package. Of course we have two gloves. They are nicely packed. So, <coughs> and some paper. Now, <coughs> these are my new Revit Dirt 3 gloves. And if you compare them with the old ones, let me see. As you can see, the old ones, the color isn't there anymore. They were black as these ones. But this discoloration, this is all from the sun, because this part is always on the top, so the sun is getting uh, into it. The other side is yeah, a little bit uh, discolored as well, but much less. And as you can see, now the gloves are exactly the same. They have uh, some soft uh, protection parts on the, on the end of your fingers, the hard parts in the middle of your fingers, hard part here on your knuckles, and some part here on uh, the palm. And they are the same size, but of course, yeah, these ones are a little bit tighter because they knew and of course here we have the velcro we have as well ventilations here some holes so yeah very good gloves very well ventilated three seasons what do you need more so let's ride gloves very comfortable they just need a little bit of movement it's, they're gonna be even more comfortable <laughs> 